Hello my friends, it's Lesko here and today I got another knife review for you. Today I will not be reviewing a fixed blade. Uh, ha! Now you know, I will be reviewing a fixed blade. I just bought this little beauty like two weeks ago and I can't get it off my hands. Can you guess what it is? If not, I will help you guys because it's the beautiful small little fella called Enzo Necker, Necker in a 12C27 stainless steel and the ivory micarta handle scales. This is a linen, linen micarta type of canvas. Quite indestructible material looking absolutely gorgeous I think and also this knife is uh, quite gorgeous so little specs first as you can see it's a small really compact knife but I can get a full four finger grip on this little guy the blade like I said is 12c27 flat ground satin finish thing that I really like it's ground to a very thin very very thin edge actually and it's 3.2 millimeters thick as you can see it comes to the quiet fine but yet sturdy point excuse me this is some dirt because I was using it now so as you can see it's fine but not fragile tip and it's really great for digging up splinters or getting into some places where it's harder to get or if you want to clean some small game fish I think this is great one it's also got a really really sharp spine so you can use it for scraping fire steel I did it and it uh, did this thing flawless okay so this was the blade now uh, like I said the handle is uh, white ivory micarta I really like micarta because you can uh, feel you can feel the, the texture of the canvas it's smooth don't be fooled but you can feel the texture and I think it's a really cool feeling and the thing that it's polished means that uh, during prolonged cuts we will not have blisters it's ergonomically speaking this is a really fine piece but uh, like I said in uh, videos previously I need knife and a half centimeters so I can get really really comfortable full four finger grip and this is nine centimeters I can get there four fingers but the pinky is like okay right on the border but I can live with it because I tried uh, Whitling with this little fella and uh, I must say it was uh, really cool. No worries about using small folders so you can get blade play or stuff like this. So it was perfect to know that uh, I can cut a bit harder than with my folders and uh, be sure uh, nothing bad will happen. The thing is maybe when your hands are sweaty it could be a little bit slippery but that depends on kind of situation I had uh, no problems even with uh, sweaty hands the knife wasn't slipping out of my head the grip was always full control no matter how you grab this knife I find it always comfortable maybe a little nitpick is that uh, this section could be maybe not radius like this but slightly lower so it will you will gain like let's say two millimeters of space that will be perfect and also these corners are quite sharp but nothing uh, you can uh, fix by yourself with a little bit of uh, sandpaper and few minutes of your precious time as you can see the construction is full tank which is perfect here it's polished and here is like satin finish that's due to the factory factory settings how they are making this blade 
this is a brass pin and a brass lanyard hole I would say standard size but it's nice and chamfered here nothing is sticking out everything is really nice and flush as you can see the fit and finish is actually really nice and uh, if you want to carry this knife you can use the leather sheet or I picked uh, this Kydex one I think it's a quality Kydex and inside I'm not sure if you can see but there is some kind of fabric this is like a friction folder sheet it's not doing any click or something like that you just put it in here and it stays of course you can shake it out when you are trying real hard I tried it but when you are carrying knife vertically or horizontally I don't think it will get out and the one perfect thing is that I found out I got my uh, manly 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 patriot which is also in a plastic sheet and it got a belt uh, hanging loop and this loop fits actually this size perfectly so I decided I will make from Kydex my own uh, holster system for this so I can uh, carry it like a, like a plastic clip so I can carry it on my jeans because for now this is my uh, primary everyday carry knife during winter and I must say I really love it other than that, uh, as you can see, this is a typical Scandinavian design. Uh, if you know Enzo Burke 75, the, the blade profile is the same, but uh, this is only shorter blade, 65 millimeters, so quite small, but uh, the bonus is that this blade will probably be legal everywhere, which is really nice if you want to carry something with you just to make sure you are always prepared I don't think that this will raise so many eyes, eyebrows because the knife looks really nice and it's not menacing looking it's looking like a classical Scandinavian little bit of book of flair and uh, the use for this knife is probably the same so and I almost forgot uh, this baby uh, weights only 65 grams and uh, with sheet it's 85 grams so that's that's no way it, actually this is perfectly lightweight and uh, carryable non-obtrusive I carry this now in the pocket of my jeans and I don't even know it's there but it's there and it's always ready to serve me well mm, what else can I say okay uh, the 12c27 it's not a super steel by any means it's not a new steel it's not a super duper hyper ultra wear resistant steel but it's a very pure steel it's a really stainless steel and to sharpen this baby total breeze and you can get it to real real shaving sharpness because the truth is that this was also developed as a razor steel and it's used also for knives in ice skates so it's uh, something you can uh, sharp to very fine uh, sharpness and it will hold this edge adequately well depending on your use because let's be honest if you are using your knife for everyday uh, cardboard cutting then this will not be the best knife for you you should search for something more wear resistant but if you are in the woods whittling a little sticks maybe maybe gutting a little fish or uh, doing a little food prep op uh, sometimes opening leathers and stuff like that the normal EDC stuff not uh, not industrial work then I think you will be satisfied with the, this knife I think it's uh, run a little bit on the softer side I don't know the HRC but the edge holding is just okay and like I said the sharpening total breeze you don't need no special equipment the sandpaper or stones or anything I think will do it and uh, this edge can uh, take a really keen level and uh, that's it guys overall really satisfied with with uh, this little knife uh, I don't know for how long I will carry it but for now 
I am carrying uh, as a EDC only this one and the Victorinox Classic SD because it had a little scissors and a tweezers and a toothpick and I think that is really practical so I got this combo for uh, my everyday tasks and uh, I'm really happy with it so if you have this knife or if you have any questions let me know in the comment section if you like this video press the like button subscribe for and uh, I will uh, try to put uh, more content now I'm uh, going to eat my food because it's on fire for a few minutes and I think it will be just okay. So have a great day guys. See you soon. Bye bye. Ahoy.